Good evening, Hackology. Getting back to our usual schedule, and in tonight's video, we're going to carry on the uh, AC generator tutorial. And tonight, mostly, we're going to be looking at diodes. Now, what are diodes? Well, diodes are little black components with the silver ends on them. Uh, they're symbolised the following way in circuit board diagrams. So, what are we going to be doing with diodes? Well, we're going to be building something called a rectifying circuit. What does a rectifying circuit do? Well, it takes an AC current source and converts it into a DC current source. So, basically, every time the current switches direction, the rectifier basically only allows the electricity to flow one way through it. I highly recommend if you want to look more into rectifying circuits going to allaboutcircuits.com they have a really good write-up and article. Um, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to build a full wave bridge rectifier which is probably the most common rectifier used in electronic circuits. Uh, what does a rectifier do? Well, a rectifier takes an alternating current source and converts it into DC current. Now, um, this is done because a diode will only allow electricity to flow through it one way. And I'll show you an animation on the screen of the rectifier working so you can understand it a little bit better. And basically, if we convert from an AC power source to a DC power source and there are advantages to the two. The AC power source is much better for travelling long distances down wires but the DC source is brilliant because we can store it and that also means that we'll be able to charge batteries from a DC source. So, um, you will need for this tutorial you will need, you will need, you will need you will need four diodes. You'll need a 10k ohm resistor. You'll also need an LED. Um, you'll need a, a capacitor. The one that I started with was a thousand farads, but we'll, uh, thousand microfarads. We'll get into that in a bit. You'll need a breadboard. You'll also need the coil from the last tutorial where we made the AC generator, and you'll need some of the little connecting leads to connect your circuit up on the breadboard. Okay, the capacitor that I used, started to use was a 15, um, sorry, 16 volt, 1000 microfarad capacitor. But since then I have changed it for a 35 volt, 15,000 microfarad capacitor because that stores a lot more energy and um, is, is much better for charging from. It takes a little to, to charge it up, but um, it's much better than the, the small one I was using. But the, the capacitors you can find lying about in old uh, pieces of equipment, and if you're careful with the soldering iron, they're not too difficult to remove. So, what you'll need to do is take your breadboard, and you'll need to put the diodes together like this. And the first, the first diode goes in, and you'll need to bridge the breadboard from side to side and keep them parallel. And what you want to do is put them together in a little square and you want two of the grey ends facing the corner and then you want two of the black ends facing the corner. So they're uh, basically opposing one another. And then you'll need to plug the AC wires in from the generator to the breadboard. And then from the opposite corners uh, you will have positive from the one with the two grey ends facing the corner will be your DC positive supply and the one with the two black ends facing the corner will be the DC negative supply so you'll need to connect your LED, the long leg, the positive one to the positive side of the rectifier and the negative side to the negative side of the rectifier and you, you, you should be able to see that in the photos anyway so like I say I upgraded my um, capacitor from the small one to a big one and um, it's, it works much better but it also works with the small capacitors. I found the ones with, with more microfarads and lower voltages seem to work better than the more high voltage ones with small microfarads. So 
Um, the first video I'm going to show you is the circuit without the capacitor connected. So what this means is it's rectifying the current to DC but there's no smoothing. So we use a small capacitor to smooth the charge out and I will show you a video now with a capacitor on the circuit but uh, this circuit at the moment doesn't have a resistor going to the LED. So with the capacitor you'll notice that the light lights up slowly, stays on and then fades out after time. And then when we add the resistor, what the resistor does is rather than the LED drawing as much current as it can, the resistor resists the current and only allows the LED to draw what it needs. Uh, we'll expand on these videos in, the, in, in future episodes. Uh, but uh, that's been DC current rectification. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have fun hacking. We'll be back soon. Peace.